two, three. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, everybody? It's the first time that uh, the guest is clapping as well. Uh, welcome back to uh, the Art of Affiliate Management. And if you manage affiliates, if you want new partners, Jesus Christ, LinkedIn is in the meantime a very important tool and most of us are not using it correct. And that's why we have today an absolute guru when it comes to LinkedIn. He also helped me to pimp my uh, yeah, my my personal profile and the AFPA profile and so on. And uh, he will tell us a little bit about that and also his new hustle in uh, selling accounts for advertising. Very happy that today with me is Stefano De Covelis, Italian names are always so wonderful, way easier to say and nicer than when I'm a guest and they say Stefan Mubauer. And because it's an Italian yeah. guy, we also have an Italian sponsor and it's the Affiliate Expo in Milan that will happen Yeah, in a few months in Milano. I was there last year. Uh, amazing show. I was speaking there. Lots of media buyers, lots of e-com stuff. So um, see you all there. So. Stefano, um, I said some words about you, but uh, please tell us a little bit more about yourself. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you a lot. And uh, it's a pleasure to stay to stay here. And uh, it's the first time that I see you on a stage in Milan. After we see in Bangkok, but the first time I see you in a stage is Milan. And it was, Are you uh, were was there? A... Yeah, yeah. Have you there? Yeah, 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 yeah. This year. And I see you for the first time with your suite, amazing suite. And uh, yeah, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first time. I so, only bought it for this moment. I know, <laughs> I know. And uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it's uh, uh, truly wonderful to be there. And uh, thank you to, to you, Stefan, for, uh, for this opportunity. As you say, my name is uh, Stefano De Cubellis. It's an Italian name because I'm Italian. And uh, guys, I'm sorry if I make some mistake in English, but uh, I'm not the best in the world to speak this language. But uh, we do it. And uh, who is Stefano De Cubellis? And uh, intro to by myself is every difficult question, you know, because it's like uh, who you are and it's difficult to say who I am. <laughs> but uh, what, what, what I can say is that uh, I'm a world traveler, you know, and uh, over the year I'm going to from being uh, a farm laborate and a waiter from uh, founding and closing companies to developing orders from a commercial point of view. And uh, until I got there and decided after many and many setbacks that uh, if you want to achieve uh, uh, what you want in mind in life, uh, what you have to do is uh, uh, get out there and go for it uh, and just uh, uh, work on your goal. That's that's who is Stefano De Cubelis, I think. And how you ended up in this um, online marketing industry? I mean, why LinkedIn? Uh, we will come to this point, but uh, how you even ended up in online marketing? Oh, yeah. It's like uh, oh, I, I, I start in the online marketing in uh, 12 years ago, because now, yeah, oh. I was 16, now I'm 28. So I was 16 the first time that I started in the online marketing. And uh, my first funnel was very funny because uh, was like, uh, I pay a porno star, a famous porno star in Italy that uh, make Instagram stories the first time. Oh no, after two years, but this is the first funnel that I have. Uh, Instagram stories, that is uh, the first Instagram story that uh, that we have, and uh, he said, like, uh, follow these guys to make more money online. And uh, we have like a group on Telegram, and, and we sell uh, point, like and uh, forex like and trading, you know. And that's the other first online um, business. You maybe we're still doing affiliation, but it should not be the topic today. You went into consultancy for LinkedIn, and you do it really yeah. good. Yeah. How that came up? Yeah, because after that, uh, I start with the online business uh, and in trading Forex uh, and uh, something like this. I I have some money, but some little box, something like this, but I spend it all. And after I'm going to university, because uh, it's like in my city, everyone say, no, oh, when you finish high school, you have to go to the university, you have to study, you have to study. And I'm like, okay, I have not a problem to, to be able to study something. So I have two degrees, one in law and one in economics. But uh, after this... Uh, Thanks to COVID, bro, and uh, sorry for uh, who lost some uh, familiarity into the COVID, but uh, COVID makes what no one can do for me. So I just have to sit on my table and I can do just one thing. I have just to study. So COVID start, I buy like, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 100 core, online course from America and I don't know how many books and I start to read and uh, to work, not 
on uh, the other side to have money, but on myself to make money. So I start to study with uh, Tony Robbins, uh, with uh, Gray Cardon, uh, with all these uh, uh, guru, online guru. And uh, I don't know how, but uh, something into myself start to change. And when something is changed into yourself, something, uh, something change outside yourself. So I start on LinkedIn. And uh, LinkedIn is uh, for me, I don't know, like uh, the, the best platform in the world because uh, make me who I am now. But uh, I've always had this uh, urge to be someone on social media. I tried it on Facebook. I tried it on Instagram. I tried it on YouTube. I tried it every day in, in uh, every platform, but uh, no one can work. I don't know why. And then came LinkedIn in uh, four year, uh, four year ago. A completely different platform where lifestyle doesn't matter, or only the exchange of value, idea, and uh, eventually it starts clicking, you know. And uh, I started in this uh, in this world uh, just to post something about my life. So I start to speak about uh, what I'm studying, what I uh, what I think about the the sales world because I I, I was born like a salesman, okay. And uh, after this. Uh, I create a small community after a community more big, after a big community. And now I have like 20,000 followers, something like this, that is not a lot, but uh, are uh, very affluent about what I say and uh, about uh, my life and about myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? also 20,000 people on LinkedIn. These are people that have like a business interest in some way in what you are yeah, doing. Exactly. If you have 20,000 yeah. people in uh, Instagram, it can just mean that you are like, funny yeah. or that you are like um, looking yeah. like good or something like this and there is maybe not too much to um, to monetize it and um, you can also be replaced very easy by people that are funnier than you and um, are having bigger muscles or something like this um, yeah. so yeah everybody should watch out if I make a good Instagram account anyway yeah. um okay. So when you go and you look at your clients, we can go through it how it was with um, with me, with my profile. It was shit. Let's face it. Um, what are the things that people are doing mostly wrong on LinkedIn? We will go on LinkedIn yeah. in general, but speaking about first about the profile, what are the mistakes they make um, on, okay. on LinkedIn? Yeah, first, uh, first to, to answer to you, I want to say that uh, the um, uh, the that uh, my like on LinkedIn and uh, it was the mistake about the other one is that uh, well, you have to you have to think about what the other one wants. I, I want to explain it better because uh, look, think, image this in Italy, LinkedIn is still a very underestimated social platform. Most profiles are creating just for. Uh, the, the sake of it. So many, many don't even have a profile picture or a cover photo or like a description yeah. about yourself. So just have a, a, a profile and after going the other way. And I always compare LinkedIn uh, to Tinder, you know, because if you just open a Tinder account and after go out and every, every time you don't use the app, no one can like your photo. No one can ask to you to go outside or something like this. And I compare this social because... Uh, when you are on Tinder, everyone has the same goal. I want to go out with someone. I want to meet a new guy. I want to meet a new girl. So if you match someone, for sure you can go out with someone. Okay? And on LinkedIn, it's the same. If you have a good profile, if you make uh, some content, and if you do action about the other one and uh, who you're interested in it too, uh, and someone uh, is like, uh, oh, thank you for the for the like or for the comment or for the friendship that we have on LinkedIn. For sure, you can sit in a table. And uh, that's my lucky. That's how I use every time LinkedIn. Because uh, four years ago, no one posted no, nothing. So I am like uh, one of uh, 100 guys that use LinkedIn, but posted on the social media. So if I post one... Uh, one post, I have like uh, 100 per view about all the other social because there are not content. And after this, for the people, you are like the first into your mind that uh, uh, speak about this argument, something like this. And after I just start to networking with uh, very value people. 
and uh, for me, value people means uh, that uh, I'm 28, so I'm fucking young, you know, man. And uh, if there is some other people, some other man that is uh, like uh, 15 or 16 and uh, have like, I don't know, maybe 10 companies, something like this, uh, for sure, in the economics value is have very, very better than me. And uh, that's my goal. Every time that I use LinkedIn, I just want to sit in a table with these people because uh, it's difficult to stay in a table with a man that is like 100 pair better than you in economic stuff, you know? And uh, so this is uh, how I use LinkedIn. I just want to stay with people that is better than me. And when I'm with this, these people, every time is for me like one hour of mastermind, you know? And after that, we end the call or the dinner. I want to eat whatever that uh, they have to say and the uh, whole... Uh, all, all, all what I I can uh, uh, I can take from the, this guy, you know. And after I'm like uh, start with my project and uh, all start like this. So, so when you um, when you want to engage with all these um, high profile individuals, um, yeah. there are certain things to make yourself more appealing. Um, let's start with the picture. Yes, I see that a lot of people don't even have a profile picture. I had one, but you told me it's shit. Yeah. Um, how you have to, um, how uh, a good profile picture has to look on LinkedIn. Yeah, uh, uh, like who you are. Image this. If you are a barman or if I am a barman and I have a picture with two bottles of vodka are perfect because I'm a barman. I want to, I, you, you have to think about uh, this picture. When a people look at this, what is the feeling that he improve into yourself? So if I want to improve like a, 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 like a barman, so I have to take a picture with your bottle of vodka. If I want to make like a, uh, if I want to be a funny man, I have to have a big smile and uh, I don't know, maybe orange color or yellow color or something like this, because uh, who see this picture? is like uh, feeling good into, into myself and the think like, oh, this is a funny guy. I want to follow him because this is what I want into my LinkedIn. If I want to be like a serious man or like a businessman that is uh, very distacated about the other one, I have to take a picture, not in, uh, in the first floor, you know, maybe more uh, uh, with more space and maybe with, uh, with a, a black suite or something like this or a black and white picture, something like this. Because uh, LinkedIn is like a funnel. It's like any other social platform. The only things that change is the mentality and the intention with which you use it. There are two pillars of LinkedIn, bro. Profile and content. The, the profile is your funnel, while the content is the means to bring people into your funnel. So when you open a LinkedIn account, the platform guides you well in creating your profile into four steps. The first one is the photo, as you say. So you have to have a good picture about who you are, about the feeling that you want to improve into the other one. After, you have to make a cover image that correlates with the profile photo in terms of color and in terms of, uh, of, the, of the purpose that, uh, that you have. After you have to write a good headline. No, the headline is uh, what is under the under the um, under your name, and uh, into the into the, the the headline you have to immediately capture people's attention and explain in a few words who you are and what is the problem so, that you solve. So yeah, let's take an example from uh, from the oh. people that are usually watching this. Let's say you are uh, managing an affiliate program or an affiliate yeah. network in the iGaming space. Um, these are very engaged people on this channel. So what are what are facts that you have to put on your profile that uh, the people have to see and what type of picture you would suggest them to put there and what kind of um, hero picture, how this is called, cover picture you would uh, suggest yeah. to somebody that uh, runs an affiliate program or network in iGaming? Yeah, so uh, if I want, uh, so so I'm looking for uh, traffic or I'm looking yeah, for... Yeah, traffic, uh, traffic, 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 traffic. Yeah. Okay, so, let, yeah. let's keep it maybe a little bit more simple because you are not maybe that deep into it. But let's say you yeah, have an affiliate. Yeah, let's, uh, let's say um, you have an affiliate program and you want just affiliates um, and maybe other cooperation partners, but your main focus is always affiliates. What you What type of picture you would put on the profile what cover picture you would put and what um, headline you would uh, suggest. Yeah. 
So an affiliate is a, the, the, first, uh, the first thing that I'm wanna looking for is uh, what kind of people is an affiliate? Is a man that want uh, like to be inspired by some, someone or that want a consultant or an affiliate manager that is better or in the same plan of him? Because I think that uh, if I am an affiliate, I want someone that for me is like a, I don't know, like an inspirator or a, like a mentor or something like this. So in my picture, uh, I'm like a, a god, you know, my, maybe with a white or uh, a good a good light and with a big smile because it's a word to interaction. So I had to I had to feel like a man that is uh, that, that that I want to speak with you. That what the, the affiliate have to think when see my picture. Okay. After into the the headline, uh, I want to write something like uh, "Hi, help affiliate." To scale your business with new offer or with uh, I don't know what, but with something like this, I help the affiliate manager to have uh, the 100% affiliate more into three months. Something like this. So a purpose. What is your purpose about your program? After this is uh, uh, what we see when we are scrolling our home. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and after, if the picture and uh, this uh, headline are very strong and is what the affiliate want, for sure, click under your name. And when click under your name is on your profile and start with your funnel. Because the first things that you see when you are going uh, on, uh, on the profile of someone is the, is the cover image. And into the cover image, you have to, you have to take your, your picture or your program picture, if you have a, a program, and uh, the value of your program. So. Per 10 of your affiliate now, or per 10 of your re revenue, or per 10 with my off my gambling offer, or I don't know. It depends about uh, how, how, how is it when uh, when you reach out. I mean, for example, in dating, it's not that affiliates are writing me on LinkedIn. Um, it's like a different way of working. But I know in more mainstreamish um, environments, it's very common that the affiliate is like on LinkedIn, big publishers. And um, people oh, affiliate manager. Hmm? No, because image this. Now I'm 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 doing something on LinkedIn for my new company, you know. And uh, I I I know the I I notice this. There are like uh, but like 100k or something like this men that have into your headline. I'm looking for traffic, but 100 or more. So if you use LinkedIn out outreach like this, so into the the. Uh, how is the name of the into the spotlight of the spotlight of LinkedIn and you are looking for affiliate affiliate manager traffic offer or wherever you want you can have like a list of 200 or 300 or maybe 1 million it depends about the the research people that are looking for what you want so you have like an infinite list about your uh, uh, lead Okay, but and what is if you, if you, like, if you, how is it? Uh, how is it if you reach out? I want to go back to this uh, headline a little bit. If you reach out to an affiliate or in general as a partner, I mean, possible that somebody watches that has something completely different. If you write right. me now a, a mail uh, on LinkedIn, what you actually did, by the way, but I sent you that uh, with like an approach. Um, if if you do that. What is the person seeing that is getting the message? Does it see something different than when they search? Or is it uh, showing practically the same? So the picture and a good headline. So the people know also what uh, to optimize that or it needs something else there. To reach out to the other one? Mm -hmm. Always to reach out the other one? All right. So if uh, to reach out the other guy, the only things that you can do is uh, in three in three points. Put a like to the other one. Comment a lot of posts of who you want to reach out and uh, you have to and the, the third one is make content but it's difficult the content is the most difficult things in all the social media because you have to capture the attention you have to know how you skip copywriting skill so it's more difficult but on linkedin if you just add like 13 or 40 people a day into your niche and uh, you just put i don't know maybe 100 like to the man that you want to reach out and you comment a lot of posts every day, bro, into one week, you have like three new meetings. Mathematically, I'm sure about this. And what they see, this, what, this is the... 
this is this is um the the question how to optimize it so when when you write somebody or when you comment what the people are seeing that you maybe have to optimize so nobody searches for you you search for people you like you comment you write messages what they are seeing and what you have to uh, optimize i'm not speaking now about the the message that you sent but about your profile what you have to adjust there yeah, 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 yeah. Before to send a message, because we can speak about that too, but before to send a message, I start to attract yourself. Because if you use LinkedIn and you have posts, and I want you, like my client, I can't send to you a message like, hi, Stefan, I sell uh, only a LinkedIn course, I want to, uh, to sell it to you. Because I'm sure that you are like, a, who did these guys? What do you want about me? I don't want to buy nothing. Because it's normal, it's like a, um, it's like a bias, is uh, sure. That, uh, this is how we work. But if I start to follow you, my profile is perfect for you, okay? Because I'm like, uh, if you are an affiliate manager, I can help you to scale more your business or something like this. And after I start to uh, follow you, after I'm going to, to be value for yourself under your post, just to make some comment, some comment that with value content, okay? So you post uh, this video and under I'm like, uh, oh, very good video, Stefan. Thank you for your tip. I think that you can blah, 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 blah. So you are like, uh, oh, who is this guy? After you go to my profile, for sure, bro. You click on my name and go to my profile. And uh, so you are not just you. writing good video. You write something like a uh, great yeah. video. I anyway wanted to improve my LinkedIn. I will use it or so. So it's like engaging yeah. and not only like, yeah, yeah, well done and spammy. On LinkedIn, the best selling is when you don't sell no one, but make the, the other person that want to buy from you. And to buy something from me, I have, uh, to, uh, I have to achieve yourself with my name and with my funnel. That's the best, that, that's the best way to sell on LinkedIn in time. If you are like, oh, I want to sell now and I want to make a lot of lead, you have to send a direct message, but... Uh, not a message like, uh, oh, I'm Stefan and uh, I'm selling the LinkedIn course because I'm the best on LinkedIn. Because if I send a message like you, you are like, uh, we step, I, I don't give a shit to you. Why? You, I don't ask nothing to you. But can if I send a message. Can you for this or restrict your account? So let's say uh, somebody's watching this and is now super motivated to make outreach. They buy this sales navigator or often you get it yeah. for free for a month. And they sent like, uh, let's say, 500 messages a day, just copy and paste. Yeah, it's a shitty approach, but sometimes masses also make uh, make sense. There's also a video on this channel exactly about what yeah. is better, tailor-made or masses. And uh, it depends, of course, on the thing. Is Have you ever heard that somebody got his account shut down for too many messages or is LinkedIn not uh, caring too much as long as you have like a premium membership? Yeah, if you, if you have like, uh, uh, if you don't have premium, you can send just uh, maybe 13 or something like this uh, uh, collection request a day. So you okay. can have like uh, 1,000 a day because uh, for LinkedIn, uh, the, the purpose of LinkedIn is uh, people first. So it's not to spam everything uh, or something like this. But if you have Sales Navigator, you can have a pre ham and you can organize all this job and you can send like... Uh, uh, how many, uh, like 2,000, no, 2,000, yeah, 200 at the, um, a week request of uh -huh. uh, colleague and request, yeah, not uh, like 1,000, just 200 at week, but you can send all the message that you want and you can send uh, all the, um, uh, and you can do more, you can, you can see who, who you see your profile, you can have a better uh, explorer about the lead, you can do a lot of things. But uh, the most important things is that when you send a message to someone, you can use like a template. Sure, it's important because there is a pattern. But uh, before to sell something to someone, you have to, you, you, you have to, I don't know, you, you have to, to, to do something for the other person. So before value for you and after something for me, because for sure I want to sell my LinkedIn course. But uh, before to sell something, I have to give you to use something. Or because if I send 100 message with uh, I'm Stefano, I sell LinkedIn. And maybe I have one person that is like, okay, I want to buy. For someone is like, oh, yes, I have one people that want to buy from me LinkedIn course. But about myself is like, uh, okay. But now you have like 99 person that uh, 
no one to buy for now in the in the in, in for every for every time so how you make it you you give them something for free you say something like uh, let, let's say your case with linkedin you say like uh, okay i'm a linkedin uh, a guru and i sell the course whatever words you are using and um i thought that you are not using a header picture because for example i didn't even have that the point uh, the point here with somebody like you is often not even um yeah is this picture now perfect or not it's often that uh, the people are not even using the most simplest feature because they treat it as something yeah it's just there and you have it so you would approach it like this and say like hey you are missing a header picture and if you want to have yeah. more advices this one was for free get my course is this an approach that you would use or is it functioning on linkedin totally different than that yeah i don't use this approach because there is a, because there is one law into the linkedin selling that i love so much that in italian is uh, uh, oh you're right i have to say it in english and uh, uh, what did the person have to um, just a second, because in Italian is uh, is simple, not in English. Say it in um, Italian. Maybe it's uh, something in Latin that is used to it, right? In Italian is like uh, che ha da guadagnarci, and in English uh, this one uh, is che ha da guadagnarci. No. What he has to gain? What he has to gain? What the people mm -hmm. that send the message has to gain? Okay, because um, if I give you my free course. Is always the same question. the The first things that you think is uh, why they send me is all is free course. If uh, maybe I don't want LinkedIn course, okay. But if uh, I put you like a person before everything, for sure we can sit in a table. LinkedIn is not for sell something. It's for a sit a table with the right man, and after we can talk about business and sell something. Because if I send you a message, uh, because I see, I don't know, maybe uh, your uh, picture with, uh, I don't know, I don't know, uh, maybe with uh, new PC. That's, I don't know, make an example. Okay. And I'm like, oh, Stefan, you know that I have to buy the same PC of you? It's very strong with me and with you too. Something like this. What or, is a PC? Uh, a computer, personal computer, sorry. Ah, a, a PC, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking a bitchy that you see us in the holiday yeah. in Thailand yeah. or something like this. Yeah, yeah because it's Italian uh, slang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, or, or uh, if I see that you have a podcast, I'm like, oh, Stefan, I follow your podcast on YouTube. I see the podcast with yeah. um, Stefan. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is now, how they get me. This is how they get me always. This yeah. even how so, they entered some fraud people in Masters in Cash because they bro, said, because like, I, I saw your podcast. Attention. Yeah, bro, because now I have real attention. Now I have real attention. What is marketing? Marketing is uh, have someone that give times for you for something else. This is marketing for me. So if I send you a message or something like this, or maybe if you are in a disco and you want to... Uh, I don't know, maybe reach out with some girl. What is the first thing that you can do? You can look, you can dance, you can do a lot of things, but you have to have his attention, her attention. That's the goal. If you have the attention of the other people, after you can have a comfort zone, after you can sell something or have sex in this case or something that is depend about the goal. That's <laughs> the most Italian thing that I ever had in this podcast. <laughs> So yeah, um, okay. Good, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, all this kind of uh, things. I think, I think now with this outreach, this is so far the, um, the really the the most practical and relevant uh, part. And I think what works here on LinkedIn is working in general uh, everywhere. When you do sales, okay, in LinkedIn is maybe even more, but um, if you are approaching even so, if, if people are approaching me on the show and say like. Hey, Stefan, I saw you on stage or I read your book. It's a completely different thing than if the guy is coming and saying like, hey, look, uh, we have like um, this and this approach for your uh, for your business. And I mean, it can be even for masters in cash when somebody comes and says like, yeah, yeah we have this new software for like affiliate programs or something like this. And like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Are you an affiliate? No. Okay. Okay. See you later on the bar. But if the guy said, hey, I read your book. You don't have your attention because bro it's not like linkedin it's not like affiliate it's not about money 
is about people. If you know how people make decisions, you can sell everything to everyone and you can sit in every table that you want and you can have the attention of every people because you are looking for the people, not just for the business. So um, to close the LinkedIn chapter, because we also have the account stuff. Um, and uh, I know from your sales skills that this account stuff is uh, going very well. There yeah. are on LinkedIn now these collaboration articles. I think I never paid attention to this until I had a uh, uh, LinkedIn consultancy uh, with you. And now I contribute there. How you see it, this contribution article? Is it a bullshit or is it like useful? I see there is a lot of AI content, so it takes away value because uh, you see that people are giving informations just to comment and not something like with great value. What is your take on that? Oh, it, it depends because uh, um, the, um, this article is when you have one uh, article or product with uh, more author, okay? With more. Uh, yes. It's like uh, if me and you start to have an article together or something like this, but uh, it's banned because uh, it's not like uh, Instagram that you can make shout out uh, with the other page uh, so you can have a traffic about the other one and all this stuff. LinkedIn is a personal, for me, LinkedIn is a personal social. So I don't believe about this test because it's a test of LinkedIn. And I think that uh, maybe in one month, two months, no one use it. But uh, I can make a mistake. So I don't know. Mm. But for sure, if you want to do something with the other one, you can do the shout out. So we can create a post with my format, but with your reward. And uh, we can share it into your profile. So I can have your traffic organic. And I can do the same with uh, maybe, I don't know, a video. And I can post this video on my, but this is your format, not mine. But I can post into my profile and tag you and say that it's thanks to Stefan and blah, blah, blah. And if I do this, uh, I, um, I, I, I you can have my traffic. So this is a good goal, but always with different profile and always with different personal brand. I believe that this is uh, the goal that the people have to do on LinkedIn. Because, I have uh, not even well, seen that yet. I mean, or not tried it. I saw some stuff and I also saw people were sharing uh, things like that. And um, they put something like news. I, I would call it a newsletter that is posted on LinkedIn. I think it's even called newsletter on LinkedIn. Um, but I, I was not really understanding what this is about. Also not really investigating. Oh, it. it's, a new, it's like a normal newsletter, but just sending it about in LinkedIn. So the, 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 if the you goal send is, it out or you just post it and people just have to link, click. Just a link, just a link them because you have a notification. Image this. If I want to start my personal newsletter, I have to have like a tool, a Substack, or mm. something like this. And after I have to make something to have traffic of my newsletter. But if I start my newsletter on LinkedIn, in the same moment that I start the newsletter, LinkedIn sent a notification to all my network that is like 20,000 people and they say Stefano start his own newsletter please check here and uh, not all 20,000 for sure but maybe 10%, 20% start to follow my newsletter and I have like a 4k uh, subscriber in one hour so it's fucking and crazy so, the new, the, so practically you have the option to invite the people to this newsletter and whoever follows it gets in the future not the stuff sent to your his inbox in Gmail or Hotmail or whatever exactly. it gets yeah, in but his you can, use it. you can use Gmail or uh... ah, so they, it, LinkedIn is even sending it out exactly no out just into LinkedIn just into LinkedIn and um Wow, okay, I have to test it. And you can use it from your personal profile or you have to have something like a company or premium uh, profile no, 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 everybody can... Profile, you just uh, start to have to me, you have to have a content profile because you, on LinkedIn, you yeah. can have a normal profile or a content creator profile. The normal one, uh, we just can... Um, I can follow you. I have to be in coll uh, colleagues with you, okay? But if I have a content profile, you can follow me and I can follow you. That's the difference. That's the only difference. And if you are a content profile, you can have the newsletter, you can have video into your picture, you can have a lot of things more. Hey, whoever is watching this, if you knew that this is existing, not even how it exists, but that it is exists, please make a comment here. I, I think yeah. even if, even if 10,000 people would watch this, there would maybe 
business professionals, there would be maybe five that would comment now on it. Um, yeah. It's such an under underestimated tool for the online marketing people that are in performance marketing that is not super classical uh, e-com. If you have like people that are doing like the online marketing for uh, uh, for Volkswagen or like Coca-Cola or something like this, yeah, okay, they maybe know this kind of things. But us online marketers, yeah, here affiliate program, online dating and so on. I, 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 the, I, I, I don't think they know. The best thing, sir, and the best things of LinkedIn is the fact that uh, if you use it, uh, not in Italy, but uh, maybe USA or around the world, Every is more direct of Italy because of the Europe. Because if I send a message to American guy, uh, like 100 message, maybe I can have like 16 call or 16 sales appointment because it's, uh, explain, like Tinder. Because if you use Tinder, you want to go out with someone. If you use LinkedIn, you want to go sit in a table with some businessman. But you have to explain why you are a businessman. You have to have a good profile. You have to have a good question, a good content, a good a, a good message, text max. So it's like a, a circle. I will investigate it. Um, nice stuff. I will I will make a short out of that, I think. So <laughs> now we have the LinkedIn stuff and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's already super interesting. And now we move to something that is completely different, but it's like a yeah. new hustle. And this is accounts. You're providing ad accounts. Why? Yeah. Why you do yeah. that? Why, why you why don't you... stick with LinkedIn? Yeah. Because uh, when I start uh, the online industry, the, the contenitor are social media. Okay that uh, it, without social media, all the online stuff uh, are completely different. And uh, the social media event uh, is like uh, the, the most, uh, it, it, they transform the world, okay? So every time that I start some business, uh, always I wanna work with social media. And, and uh, when I discovered the credit line, the AD account, uh, that the, I, I, can, I can be provider of AD account, I'm like, uh, oh man. I want to work in this way because everyone need this. Everyone into this industry need this. Okay, it's like a, I don't know. Uh, it's like a computer. If you don't have a computer, you can do business online. And if you don't have an account, you can do this stuff. Okay, so I'm like, okay, that's what they want to do. And when I start to travel, I see that uh, this is uh, one of the best business to be in all the world in which you start because in LinkedIn you have to start maybe into your country after into your uh, region after into your state after in Europe after in US to United States because uh, it's all different marketing okay but uh, if you have uh, a wider white, white listed account and my company is no limits ad you can uh, start and be around the world in one second so it's a worldwide business and uh, you can do it for with uh, crazy people. That's why I love and I start this one. So you said this are whitelisted Understood. accounts. Um, I'm not hustling accounts. Um, what does it mean that they are whitelisted accounts? Is there a difference in some way? No, is they, no. Whitelisted account means that you have like a, a white account and you can fool the account with your stuff. So you mm -hmm. just use the account about the other one, but it's in white label. Okay, you use an account that uh, is from Stefano, but uh, uh, you call the account uh, Giovanni, I don't know, or maybe Roberto. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so oh, you yeah. practically can Your set it up as you account. want. And um, there are, I mean, there are, you are the only LinkedIn consultant that I know. Maybe somebody inboxed me with some stuff and was shit, so was not a good consultant. I said, yeah, okay, fuck it, whatever that is. I'm more or less the only one that does this kind of Afpal all over the verticals educational content. So um, the, we, we cover here niches and it's very easy to market once you reach like a certain standing in this industry. With the accounts, it's a different thing. I know like 20 people that are providing these accounts and um, what makes uh, No Limits um, stand out from this um, from this shark tank of account providers, the fact that I think that uh, uh, all the all the fact that we have like uh, twenty four service uh, fast account setup, uh, we 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 are like yesterday I had a new client that asked for account at twelve 
at 3 p.m. So after three hours, they have the account with the top up. So we are very, very fast because uh, I start the business not only for the money, because uh, I love the affiliate man. Okay, because uh, I know that uh, the most important things for the affiliate is uh, have a partner that is very, very fast to give to him the account and to resolve problem, to, to give him some tips or for whatever. So the difference between me and the other one is the fact that we are direct with social media. We have like our credit line with, uh, I don't know, if you want to spend the two million tomorrow, we can do it for you. And uh, the most important things is the fact that uh, we are uh, very fast. We are very present with our client. Uh, image this, uh, we have like, uh, if someone asks for uh, something to us, we have like three minute request. So now you send a message to my team into three minutes, you have the password every time for everything. So what you said is actually very true for the affiliates, uh, time matters. Because often they have like this idea and they want yeah. to try it now. And if you are not providing it in time, they move on to the yeah. next provider because it doesn't matter if it's exactly. like accounts that you have now or like dating offers what affects me or maybe iGaming offers from my clients. Yeah, when you but, don't but provide it, they move on. Yeah, and, and I have to say one thing, you cannot imagine. Sometimes you have to wait two, three weeks until somebody gets you, uh, gives you an answer. I, um, I, I I test some affiliate programs. So people are paying me that I test their program and um, they they say like, okay, give me a report if my people are, are good. And sometimes yeah. you need to wait two, three weeks, but I'm not writing like, hey man, I would like to try something. I'm really saying stuff like, hey, I know your program and I know that you are very good in this and this market. Um, I have this and this traffic. So how every affiliate manager wants it, um, I make at the moment this and this volumes. Um, the only thing that I would need from you is like that and that. And um, can you set the post back for me or I can do it myself? So I appear like a super legit affiliate. Sometimes two, three weeks, sorry, bro. Or like um, they are not writing you like, um, oh, sorry, the message slipped. What can what can always happen? I mean, this happens to each of us that especially on Telegram, you don't get always the notifications on Skype. You have it on your phone. You open it by accident and you forgot it. But they are then not even replying with uh, what you need. They replied with like, hello, how are you? You know, there there is not even the conversation regarding to this topic. And um, it's shit. So no affiliate is uh, happy with that. And it's with the account most probably totally analog to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this. I know this. That, that's why I started this business like a sales, like a sales. But a sales is like a psychologist of the other people, you know. So when I understand things, when I understand that the most important things for the, the affiliate is an uh, affiliate manager, affiliate person is the time I start to say, OK, now I know what I have to do with him. Because you have to like anticipate his, uh, his action. And if you do this, you are his best man. Because, you know, you are running a campaign and uh, Facebook block your account or something like this. And uh, it's like uh, someone switch off our computer. We, we have to restart. We have, we have fuck out, you know. And yeah. if there is someone that give you energy and the new computer, you is like, oh, thanks. That's what they want. So and some stuff is also time critical. Some campaigns uh, need to be served in a um, in a certain time. Um, I remember from the mobile days, you were getting um, a budget from uh, from your payment processor, and they were saying like, okay, we have to fill fill this. Uh, God knows what. And if you cannot fill it, somebody else has to fill it. And when you as the advertiser are not providing it because an affiliate cannot provide it because he has no account, yeah, then it's a big issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So, sure. so let's say, let's say in the optima, in the optimum way, if somebody is contacting you now during practically working hours and says, "I need an account and I want to start," what is the fastest that you can maybe even do? Yeah, <laughs> if you they send a message me on uh, Telegram to me or uh, to my uh, my my contact or my my my, my company contact that is not limits add. Yeah, we will uh, put this all downstairs. If you need accounts, then. Um, yeah, exactly. And uh, just uh, send a message and in one hour you are on board and uh, tomorrow morning you have the account. And the, the, the process is simple. Send me a message, send me all the detail of your account, of the, what do you want. And uh, we start with all the process with the onboarding. And after you have the account on your VM.
and you can have okay. a data dashboard, fast account setup. And from this moment, the very goal is that uh, into the moment that you have the account, after you have uh, a person that follow your state every time. So need a new top up, need a new account, move the balance, or uh, I don't know, someone frees your money, change the BM. For everything, you have always one person that want to know how we are working. So you are like a customer manager from you and a customer with your uh, problem for every time. Okay. So now we come practically already to an end um, and we never end this show without the so-called golden nugget. What is the golden nugget? Is the best advice you can give to the people that are listening to this that you have that the people have not heard 1000 times like yeah you should network yeah okay fair enough we know that in the meantime so what is your best advice that you say like this is a unique thing that i can tell the people oh can, can i say it with a story with a short story what just one minute yeah 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 All right. uh well last year or two years ago i can remember i'm on a train and uh, i see like a man that is uh, writing on your ipad is uh, writing or painting, I don't know, something on your iPad. You don't have the AirPods, nothing. And uh, come the, the controller and say like, uh, uh, give me the ticket, please. And this guy is like to reading something. Uh, please give me the ticket again, again, like five or six times. And I'm like, uh, why this guy maybe doesn't have the, the, the ticket? I don't know, something like this. And after like six times, uh, this guy is like, oh, sorry, sorry, man, sorry. This is the ticket. Thank you. And I'm like, uh, what the fuck? Image this. There are something that we do in life that when we do it, is like no time and no space. So my best advice for everyone is to find something that when you do it, you don't have time and space around the world with yourself, but you just stay in focus into this shit. That's my best advice for everyone. And that's what I'm looking for. That's um, an interesting way to put it. Um, nobody also was ever telling a story here. They are all saying like what is what is not bad or worse, but uh, or bad or uh, more bad or more good. But nobody ever told it in a story. And I think it's a very oh. interesting advice. And sometimes I also go into this um, into this um, deep work. For example, with Florin Simovici. And now we have also a good bridge to the to the end. The organizer of the Affiliate Expo Milan that is presenting this episode with yeah. him, I went extra for deep working in the mountains to finish yeah. our books because he's also working on uh, on a book, and I published mine already because it's shorter. But we had to distract a little bit to go really like deeper at six, seven hours per day, just in the mountains. This no broke back mountain stuff or so, just working. And um, it's fantastic. You're so productive if you can uh, reach the state. Stefano, sure. it was a fantastic uh, talk with you. So much things that are uh, different here than in the usual podcasts. Um, not really so much affiliate manage related, but um, the, the concept that affiliates want to have the stuff fast is helpful for affiliates. How to use LinkedIn better is helpful for everybody uh, watching it. And especially the people that are in performance marketing that is not like super e-commerce style often neglected so stefano man thank you very much i see you latest in uh in five months or four months in milano and uh, yeah. i wish you continuous success with the linkedin stuff and now even more success with the accounts and with the other projects yeah. that i know about uh, as well okay yeah we are finding the best way to be what we want to be as i say in the story just be the best bro the best of ourselves thank you very much for this one Take care. Ciao.